Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we will be installing Windows 10 on this computer. Now this is not one of my computers, it is a Toshiba Satellite C50B14D. It's currently got Windows 8 on it so pretty outdated so today we will be installing Windows 10. Now it has a hard drive in it, I believe it's a 500 gigabyte hard drive that is staying. We won't be putting an SSD in it today, we might do that in the future, I just don't know. She just wants me to install Windows 10 on it so it's up to date and then I guess if it runs like utter rubbish, might do an SSD upgrade in the future. So we are already in the BIOS, it automatically just booted into the BIOS I'm guessing because it recognised the USB stick I've put in or because it just wanted to boot into the BIOS. So I've put my Windows 10 install stick in and in the BIOS we'll need to go to advanced and change the boot order. But let's just take a look at the specs of this thing. Alright, so this thing has a Celeron in it. It's an N2830 at 2.16 GHz. I don't really have any experience with Celerons, but Celerons being Celerons, I'm guessing it's not particularly powerful, but I'm guessing it will work just fine in this computer for doing basic tests. I think all it will be used for is word processing, so it should be fine at that. The hard drive in here is by HGST, surprisingly not a Toshiba branded drive, even though this is a Toshiba laptop, which is strange, but fine. And we've got 4 gigabytes of RAM. I believe it can be upgraded to 8. Maybe that's something the person will want doing in the future. Just depends on how well this thing works out. So just having a look through the BIOS here. I'm not really very familiar with it. I think in advance, yeah, we can change the boot order. So let's go to USB and put that up to the top. So hopefully it will boot to my USB. Let's now save and exit, and hopefully it should boot straight into the USB. So we've just got the Toshiba logo. It's taking longer than it usually does to boot off the hard drive, so I'm guessing it is trying to boot off the USB. All right, there we go. So it has come up with the install, so that is all fine as it is, and quite simply, we can just install. Now, the person is very much aware that doing this will get rid of everything that is already on the computer. I could have done an upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 10, but they don't know the password. So that's the main reason I'm doing it like this off the USB stick. So as far as I'm aware, there's nothing on here that they care about. They've given me full permission to reset it and install Windows 10. So that's what I'm going to do for them. So. Let's just come back once this has loaded up. There we go, it's loaded already. Let's read through all these terms that I'm not actually going to read. And then of course we need to accept that. Let's go next. And now we can do an upgrade, but they don't know the password. So let's just install Windows only. And it looks like there's a lot of partitions on here. So which one should I choose? I'm guessing I should format this first. So let's just go in and format it. There we go, that's formatted. I'm not really sure why all these other partitions are here. So let's just, I think, ignore those and just do partition four, which is the big one. So this is a 500 gigabyte drive. Not really sure what all the others are doing. Maybe I could delete them, but I will just see. I guess I will have the option when Windows is installed. So there we go. It's now installing on that partition. So it's already been going for five minutes and I forgot just how slow it is to install Windows onto a hard drive. On an SSD by now, I would expect it to be further along, but all it's done so far is get 30% of the files ready for installation. So I'm guessing that this will take quite a long time and I'm not too sure how well Windows will actually run on this thing. Of course, it's a low-end machine anyway. And off a hard drive, I'm not expecting much, but if it does what the person wants, then I'm fine with that. 
getting the files ready is nearly finished so hopefully after not too long it will actually start to install. Now on an SSD this whole process maybe takes 10 minutes. It's been about 6 or 7 minutes so far so this will probably take quite a while but at the end I'll tell you exactly how long it took. I should also say the USB stick is a USB 3 capable drive and I have plugged it into the one USB 3 port on this thing and it looks like it has now got a tick next to installing features and next it will try and install updates. Now this is not connected to the internet so I'm not sure how that will go but it's actually gone quicker than I thought so far. So it's been sat on this screen for a little while just saying getting ready. It's still spinning so it's not frozen or anything like that. It's just taking its time and the fans keep ramping up a bit and then going back down. So I'm not exactly sure what it is doing or how long it will take but let's just see. So it looks like it is now rebooting. What it does now I'm not exactly sure. So we're back to the Toshiba logo. Hopefully we should get the spinny thing coming up. There we go, there it is. And it looks like it's repairing the disk. Alright, just a moment. This looks Windows 10-ish. A touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Alright, so it looks like it's now on. Use your voice the along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, so I'm guessing we can now set this thing up if that stupid thing goes away. So I am going to have to create an account just to make sure everything is working. So I'll just make a generic one and then tell them how to make their own if this thing all works out. So, yep, that will do. We do not want to do that. And I can already tell that this being a hard drive does make it a bit slow, but hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. So, let's connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi has now connected. Let's go next. Now let's see what's new from Windows, just a moment. Alright, so let's just make an account. Now I don't want to do that, so let's just create a normal account. I really don't like the way it pushes for you to do it online. So it looks like they've changed the install thing from the last time I did it. So it looks like it wants me to sign in with some sort of stupid Microsoft account or something. Of course, I don't want to do that because this isn't my machine. So how the hell do I get past this? There used to be just an option to have an offline account, but it doesn't look like that's a thing on here anymore. I've called the account user and I've just made the password 1234. Will it let me have that or is it too simple? Yeah, looks like that is okay. I hate these security questions and you do have to do them. What was your pet's first name? Horse. All right. No, let's not do that. I just want to get in to make sure this thing is actually working. So once I know this is working, I'll probably just delete this account. But I need to know that it's working. I can't just give it back on the setup screen because they probably wouldn't know what to do. So hopefully we can get in now. Yep. Hi. This might take several minutes. Okay, I'll come back once we are at the desktop. And there we go. It looks like we are on the desktop and it seems to be somewhat working. So let's just have a look at this. Let's go into this PC. Now I don't want two of them. This PC here is local disk. Let's go to properties. And here are the specs, Celeron N2830 and 4GB of RAM, so it looks like this has worked just 
fine. I installed Windows 10 Home, there was no point really doing Pro or anything like that, and it looks like this has worked just fine. I will go and see if there are any updates available, and if there is, I will install those, but apart from that, I think that this is pretty much it. Wow, so there is a lot of updates available. It looks like quite a few of them are driver related, so I will just let them all do whatever they're doing. There's also some optional ones available apparently. Let's take a look what they are. They seem to be driver updates. Yeah, might as well just let it do those as well. So I guess I'll come back once all of the updates have been done. Alright, so it's been a few hours and all the updates are done. This thing is completely up to date on Windows 10. I highly doubt this will ever update to Windows 11, although I may be wrong. I don't think in its current state it would with 4GB of RAM, but I've not really looked at the requirements. I don't think I will be upgrading my main computer to it anytime soon, so I don't think this will either, but it's working now but it is slow so I really wouldn't be surprised if within the next few weeks I pull this thing apart put an SSD in it and reinstall Windows let's just see how long it takes to open File Explorer see that that was a very long time and same for everything let's open Edge Granted, that's the first time Edge has been opened on this machine, but that's just ridiculous. I'm not exactly sure what year this computer's from. I'm guessing 2014 or 15, so about six or seven years old, so it is getting on a bit now. However, I don't think that this is usable being so slow, even if it is just for word processing, I'm not sure that this will be able to do it particularly well. Let's open WordPad, see, well I spelt it wrong but that took a while to catch up. Let's open that, see how long this takes. Okay. Yeah, big, big lag. Okay, it seems to have caught up a bit now, but hmm, I'm not sure. Just have to see what the owner thinks, but personally, I'd prefer to put an SSD in this. I'd be much happier giving it back to them with an SSD. But it's all about whether they want to spend money, but I could get a 240 gig SSD for 20, 25 pounds. It's not a big expense. It's cheaper than buying a new laptop. But if this will do what they want it to do just with an SSD for 25 pounds, I think that's the way to go instead of just buying a new laptop for five or six hundred. So just have to see how it goes. But if I do install an SSD, that will be a separate video in the future. But for now, that is it. This thing has now got Windows 10 on it successfully. Not particularly smooth running, but it's running nonetheless. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting in some way and maybe we'll put an SSD in this in the future. Let's just see how it goes. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.